again, you know, we had like a week to not rest because I wasn't resting. <laughs> yeah, it's the, you were doing the opposite of resting. <laughs> <laughs> I was. But we, we like, you know, you haven't seen us for a week. So here we are. We're, we're back. We're back. So don't worry. Don't worry. We're not going anywhere. Uh, but uh, today we are back to talk about not one, but two things, which is always fun. Um, so uh, before we get into it, uh, let's have Katie introduce the podcast. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Welcome to All the Films We Judged Before, in a format you haven't seen in a while. <laughs> I'm Katie. That's Lily Kate. And we have nobody else here. Yeah, it's, it's just, just the two of us. <laughs> it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. Uh, yeah, fun time, fun times. Uh, and we can do review shit, which we haven't done in a while. So yeah, that's, that's part of the format nice. thing that we haven't done in a while. Yeah. But we're we back, we're back, and we've got a rocket. Uh, so, uh, Marvel is back in the house, uh, which is always very fun. Uh, I did have a little bit of fatigue, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, yeah, I'm back, I'm back, baby. I love Marvel, that's it, done. End <laughs> of <No> story. <laughs> <laughs> no arguments anything <laughs> i don't take any arguments i'm like i just love marvel uh and we can start our uh, review progress with uh, the one and only loki mm -hmm. and uh, the first uh, very important question is what are your thoughts on season two without any spoilers first because... um without any spoilers i'm going to read the text i sent to you after i watched the last episode because okay. i think that that kind of sums up my entire feeling on the whole thing um all right. uh, please note to the audience that this was written in italics on WhatsApp. <laughs> I went, fucking Christ, that was the best Marvel finale that they've done since they've started making television. Yep, and it's it very true. Honestly, the best thing they've done in fucking ages. <laughs> the whole thing. For me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just like, so happy. Um, mm. uh, I'm aware uh how, I'm sure I suddenly was about to say things and I was like, that's kind of spoilery. I really enjoyed all of it. <laughs> I think that's really the, sort of the long and the short of it. I think that they did a lot of things that um, pivoted in a, in, a, in a good direction from what they kind of was well, set up in the first season um, and um, gave us an ending that I do, you might disagree with me, but I actually thought was a genuinely well-written and... Um, uh, it all encompassed like it it's it it in some it summarized and like managed to bring everything together in a way that actually I thought was narratively satisfying. Um uh because I've been thinking about it and I can't think of uh of, of any like how do I put this properly? I keep going I wanted to <laughs> um, yeah. every time I'm like, no, but that that's that's kind of spoilery. It's good. I think it actually it was written well. <laughs> Okay. Really, what I'm getting at. It's, okay. It was written well. That's that's the noise non spoilery uh, thoughts on it. Yeah, yeah, I really loved it as well. So I'm like, it's it's really good, well written. Tom Hiddleston is the best, and you know, Ki Hoi Kwan is is the greatest addition to anything ever. So I'm like, uh, always bring him in, no matter what it is, and then it, your your movie or TV show gets a hundred percent better. That's fact. A little shout out to um how bloody good Owen Wilson is in this season oh, um yeah uh, I think it's one of those things that we always forget like he's a really good actor he is a really good actor and he was he was brilliant in here I think he's often so he I mean at least for me I always think I think I remember him as being quite a comedic actor a lot of I mean the time. he is yeah yeah but like so it's always nice when he actually gets to be kind of dramatic um, yeah and I think he's yeah he's great in this he yeah, is. they're all great it's a great little team Oh yeah, yeah. It's 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 a good one. It's a good one, except for one person. But we're gonna get into that. <laughs> I think that that's narratively interesting because if I think, like I think that that's yeah. We, 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 okay, we're gonna get into the spoiler spoiler talk now. So go on then. Talk spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk spoilers. Well, uh, uh, I'm gonna give most of the things to you unless we get into an argument which <laughs> might be possible <laughs> i don't know but to be honest with you dear listeners and viewers mm -hmm. uh i already have like uh had a big discussion on loki over a cow soup which i don't know if it's gonna Teasing be on me hmm? <laughs> no <laughs> you do <laughs> <laughs> oh i've just i've already done this whole deep dive into this thing on my other job which actually pays me money <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like fine 
it's okay. it's okay i'm i'm always back here because i love being here with you so you know but uh, i like to do like episodic breakdowns on things or some of the things which i only did twice to be fair because it was the last of us and the soccer so far yes they're always in the description yes um so i will say that uh altogether i really enjoyed it i enjoyed it a lot more than i enjoyed the season one mm. thinking back on it um especially because haha, guess what it's finally about tom hiddleston's lucky mm. which it should have been about in season one, instead of fucking sidelining him. Um, my uh, big uh, criticism with the whole thing was not the actress. Mm. I will Me. put it out there. Mm. Not the actress, but Sylvie mm. as a whole character. Yeah. I think her entire argument is fucking weak. I still don't know how I would change it, just mm. to be fair. like I, This uh, is what I mean about it being narratively good. But I absolutely yeah. understand where you're coming from immediately. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, because this whole like, well, we have free will. Okay, but you're going to die in two seconds and everyone else will. So what the fuck is the point, you fucking idiot? And I'm, I was so fed up. And to be fair, I think it was either Erica or Ian who brought it up that she, she didn't need to be in this season at all. Mm. She should have just been at the He Who Remains part. Uh, where you know, because basically she achieved her goal, done deal. Uh, the only character growth she had throughout the entire thing in this season is that she didn't kill Timely because she realized that she wouldn't be any better than Ransley or anyone was, mm. uh, uh, with the pruning and and whatever, and just taking away the free will and that's it. On that point, I also think that Renslayer came became a bit of a spare part in this ah, yeah. season, yeah, yeah, as well. yeah. Um, yeah, just I, a shame because I love Gugu. Yeah, Gugu is great. So I'm I'm always a, a bit angry and anxious when they do that. Uh, yeah, I don't mind. I wouldn't have minded their storyline with Miss Minutes, but Miss hmm. Minutes can go fuck herself. She was she annoyed me this season so much. I was like, uh, uh, <laughs> but um, but like, I I feel like that they introduce something interesting with Ranslayer and then they just kind of abandoned it. Yeah. And I was like... Which I find... We, we, actually, we might get into a little bit um, when we talk about the Marvels, funny yeah. enough. Um, it is a consistent problem in Marvel property at the moment where they... It's a lot of like trying to do a lot of stuff and then not really knowing what to do with it. So they just sort of let it go and don't do anything else with it. So sort of yeah. thing they're like, here's a thing. It serves its purpose, but we don't know how to write it out of the story. Let's just pretend it didn't happen. Yeah. It's like, okay. To be fair, I don't think they're going to do that with Ranslayer to say. No, that. to be fair, but like, it, um, it, but it but, does feel like a sort of like, this is somebody else's problem. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. And I, I, I think like, I kind of wish that they maybe left her out from mm. this season, which. Yeah. I'd forgotten that she was pruned until yeah. she popped up right at the end of the last episode i was like oh yeah what the fuck are you yeah yeah so it it, it definitely had problems and uh, and mm. you know uh and and my other big problem with it was like because i uh, yes i read every freaking twitter everything on it because i was like i'm Ooh. sure I'm, I'm 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 sure i'm wrong or something uh i i'm I still don't think I'm wrong, but oh well. Uh, I think how they handled Loki's ending is just cruel. Even if I like the whole God of Stories storyline. Uh, I I can understand it. I like the tragedy of it. I don't. <laughs> like, there's a, part, there's a kind of like a part of me that's like, oh, but that, I think for me, because I, I when I look at it as a narrative, that is satisfying to me in like a like just in the way that literally a plus b in like how to construct a narrative in like how to do an a, a character arc uh and the like the depths of the thematic sort of mm. resonance of it i'm like i kind of i, I enjoy it on the, a very so sad and like heartbreaking level but yeah. i can also see why you feel that way <laughs> yeah i mean it's it was like cinematically and everything it was beautifully done mm. but like the whole like 
I don't want to be alone. I just want my friends back. It's sad. No, it's, <laughs> it's like, why? Why? My role, like, you know, like, he already died, my poor boy. Uh, like, you know, obviously that Loki story ended mm. in Infinity War. And he was selfless then as well, because mm. he did the whole thing to save his brother. Yeah. So you know like he he already had this in him mm. we already knew this and mm-hmm. and and i love this storyline for this loki mm. is but there a this... feeling a bit of like because the, i mean the way that tom hiddleston's been talking about it, i don't know if you saw the jimmy fallon interview yes. it kind of feels like he's going i'm i'm kind of done now <laughs> Yeah, and that, that's that's my other problem as well because we brought it up uh, with Erica as well that he can learn how to self-project himself onto different timelines or whatever. Mm. So it, it it might not be the end for Loki. And oh, it's, for sure. I I yeah. honestly don't think it is, but I have a feeling he's probably going to take a bit of a break for a while. He's got to go get married. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like you know happy for him mm-hmm. awesome uh I'm, I'm still very like <laughs> just giggling about the fact that i saw them together <laughs> twice in that play where they got together and yeah, i no, actually I saw met them well. yeah so it's like yay i was there even though we didn't know it then <laughs> oh they're so cute i love them uh but uh you know i i just i don't know it just feels like especially if Tommy Dustin is not coming back mm. to to do those potential things because obviously mm. uh if if you look at the comics and they very heavily took things from the comics mm. in this one uh he th- this has very serious implications for secret wars and okay, Kang dynasty as well so there's a lot of questions about whether or not they will actually be continuing with the Kang dynasty stuff um there's actually a very interesting variety article about how um marvel's in a bit of a sort of upheaval um at the moment um because uh, it's been doing not great this year um uh and there's been a couple of there's been some stuff that they couldn't have predicted unless they were aware of it in which case the which is possible um to be fair but like um and, and then there's also just some like uh fundamental like um production issues that they've had for a while in the sort of constant churning out of content and the mistreatment of their VFX um um people and all of these things creating products that are not very good um at the end of the day. Um mm. I will find it so I, I will link it in the the description um because it was a very good read um about the state of all of it. Um uh but I forgot where I was going with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's I great. brought it up for a reason, and uh, I don't remember the beginning of this. I, I'm I, tired. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I hated that article, uh, not because it wasn't factual, but because it uh, prompted it's people sad. to go, "Marvel is in shambles!" Immediately, and I'm like, it's, it's, "I don't even call it shambles, but it's not doing great. <laughs> it's not doing great." But like, I think the fact it's that very, they, it, it would be very easy for them to fix is, I think, is the big. Thing. But they're already doing that. They mm. were, the fact they that next the year we're mm. we're only gonna get Echo and Deadpool three and that's it mm. because they're gonna take their time and and they were like okay I think you're right like the numbers are right the people mm. are right the fans are right and I'm like it can like please because my biggest problem with the whole thing is people acting like there were never any studios who did the same thing where no, they were disagree. like success and and just went crazy with content and whatever and you know in that process sometimes very bad content comes out <laughs> <Secret> mm. invasion, <laughs> um, which still hurts very badly mm. uh but like it happens mm. and no one ever said that marvel was perfect because it wasn't mm. like you know they they had very weak movies even before this was the owned by disney <laughs> so i'm like Let's not pretend that it's it's like, oh my God, what's happening? Maybe I think it's just one of those things. It's like a symptom of where we're at as like a, uh, in a sort of shift in, in the way that we want entertainment and like what we want out of entertainment. Because I think we've, they've gone so far in the sort of, so many things have gone so far in the paint by numbers franchise like direction that everybody's just gone a bit like, we used to make movies that weren't, part of franchises I, I miss those where did they go 
sort of a thing. Which is why this year's actually been so good because there's been so many good like original films. <laughs> um uh which we'll talk about in a few weeks when we do our little wrap up of the year. Um uh but um yeah no I it's 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 not it's one of those I think I think everybody's very aware that that like I think the timing of that article is just like clearly they started working on that back when this was becoming feeling more like oh shit this is actually going off the rails and it just happened to come out right at the time where actually you can kind of start to see the very sort of slow turn of the ship be like we, we, we are moving it just takes a bit of a minute sort of a thing. um but yeah i think you can tell that there is a, a shift coming uh massively um and uh, what the the um, fallout of the strikes is is going to have on an, the impact on that is still to be seen, as well as the, uni- the um, uni- union forming for Marvel VFX workers, um, which is very exciting, and we we love to hear see it, um, uh, and you know to be able to see what that kind of effect will have. But that's also going to be like that's like one term. Time. It's yeah. long term vision sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which I'm, you know, would like to see. I'd like this is the thing. I I would actually like to be excited about the content that that Marvel is trying to like start building out again. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not there yet. Uh, this is kind of like the last thing that I was like holding on to, and I'm very glad that it ended up being good because yeah. you know, um, yeah, yeah. I was, you know, how old was I in 2012? <laughs> uh 15 um yeah 15 when uh avengers came out Mm -hmm. might have been 14 and then like actually because it came out in may yeah it's 14 Mm. yeah bring a peak me in like fandom space you know yeah vibes um uh and it was very attached to you know loki from pretty early on (laughs) as a little 14 year old um so this you know to bring a bachelor (laughs) review because it was actually quite um yeah it, I, th- I found it to be very resonant to me I think mostly because the the it, to be able to bring back something that became as iconic as him saying you know I am burdened with glorious purpose and managed to like turn it so beautifully to have kind of the opposite meaning I'm like oh that's delicious that's so delicious you know <laughs> Where it's, like it's not it's not like he's burdened with glorious purpose he's burdened with glorious purpose it is a it is an active burden that he is now the center of this tree and he watches over everything um and it, it, taking on the mantle of like what it means to be a god um um i don't think i don't think it's actually going to be the last time we see him but i also but i do think it's probably the last time we're going to see him as a main character and i think that's the important distinction because I don't see anywhere else his, his story needs to go. Like his story, he can be a tool in other people's stories, though. Like he's he's moved from like protagonist to like the wise elder sort of. If you're talking about like, you know, um, what's that fucking guy, Joseph Campbell, like uh, uh character archetypes. He is like he's like a men- he would be a mentor figure now. He's the person who's got the knowledge of things and can be somebody that like other people come to and they're like oh i'm having trouble and it's like i see all kind of that sort of like the vibe i'm getting off of this now and we already know that tom Edison's tried to leave this <laughs> so many times and every time they're like hey do you want to come back he's like yes yeah because he loves loki and he chose he loves loki. Uh-huh. uh it's uh-huh. it's like you know uh, but again he's he can now change stories basically uh if he wants God, to. the way i lost my mind when i realized it was yidrasil uh, I was yeah. literally was just like, oh, that's yeah. so good. He's, he's, I, I also, uh, we had like a very big conversation around the, so there were four of us, Erica and Tom, uh, doesn't feel like the uh, whole phase four and five is connected enough. And I was like, that's bullshit. They're literally doing the exact same thing they did with phase one and phase two and phase three. And we didn't even know it back then. The it's- trouble is that there's so many of them and they yeah, feel they very said, desperate. They said the same thing and I was like, yeah, but... The- I'm sure it will, like, if you, it, it will come together. I just feel like it, it, it's so much of a scattergun thing. It's hard to see the woods through the trees at the moment. Not to make but a it's... pun about trees, but there you go. But that is, <laughs> it was the exact same at the beginning. Again, I was like, I was, we had like a whole argument about it. <laughs> it's, I, I, it I they did the, the I, same. I mean, I think 
the difference for me at least the way I, the way I see it is that at the beginning we didn't have well one we didn't have expectations because uh, we, we hadn't yeah. done this before uh, yeah. it was it was new um uh but also they were they were so they were they were way more self-contained as movies um which they aren't anymore like they 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 they're so they they dip so heavily into other things and require kind of like background knowledge on so many other pieces um that but some of them some of them i think the ones that are actually more successful are the ones that don't do that which is kind of part of the the thing which is part of why you know guardians was you know one of the good <laughs> pieces that came out this year is uh because it, it it finished a trilogy that it had it was a self-contained trilogy outside of everything else even if you need like there were bits and pieces that came in but like the emotional drive um was self-contained whereas oh, i can't even fucking remember like like ant-man and um what else has come out <laughs> there's too many things yeah um ant-man guardians yeah loki now yeah Marvels, and i think I that was, was it what was, was it what was last year I feel like there's been more stuff. <laughs> like, why is it all Wait, gone? Oh, no. Marvel um, 2023 I think this... was... Yeah. But, like, also what... The Marvels, obviously. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, what was Phase 4? <laughs> what happened in Phase 4? I think that... That, that was it. Guardians, Ant-Man, Marvels, and Loki, and that's it. Yeah. I don't think anything else came out. I think the other trouble is that we've got so many pieces that have been, like, Whilst they're trying to set new things up, they're also tying up old things. Uh, where they're like, so it's kind of hard to tell who's actually going to be somebody as we go on. Because it's like, this movie's come out, but it also feels like an ending. Whereas we've got a bunch of other things that are beginning. And there's not really like a, we'll get there eventually. But <laughs> it, it does feel a bit like sort of like there's a lot of trains moving in different directions. And it's hard mm. to tell where the flow of traffic is meant to be. Um but yeah, and I think that it, it, because um, at yeah, the but very that's beginning, a... go on, go we on. didn't have the these things that were ending. It becomes I don't know, it's just muddy. I think is the only thing I couldn't. Uh, yeah, uh, but uh, but if ask. but that's why I say that like the sentence of it's not connected is not true. I think it's too early to say that. Why would it be? They no, literally it, do it, the it, exact no, same no, no, thing I mean, as... It, as in it's it's too early to say it's not connected. Um, yeah, but that's what they said, and I was like, that's I, I, not I'm true. Agree and I'm agreeing with. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm getting worked up here. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking the the, the 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 quote that you're giving me, and I'm telling you that I don't agree with what they are saying. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, I think I can see uh, uh, I can you know sympathize with looking at it and feeling like there's a lot going on and not understanding w what the direction is um, mm -hmm. and feeling and I can also understand feeling frustrated with that because I you know I'm not I don't think I care enough to be frustrated <laughs> um, but uh, it, I can s sympathize with the frustration or, or you know as close as I can get to it um but i'm also like i think i'm just so sort of like eh. <laughs> i'll just see what happens at this point <laughs> yeah if we get back to a place like i don't i didn't care about um the marvel cinematic universe until the avengers came out uh really yeah um i think a lot of people didn't to be fair. um so it, it's that thing of like it's that thing of I, I like to say it's kind of you shouldn't judge a story until you can you've actually seen the entire thing right um yeah. it's like i I don't like judging like the, the full scope of a narrative until you have an and the ending because an ending can color the entire thing of the beginning and then you can actually understand the sort of thing you're looking at um but yeah i don't know just the whole thing last thing uh regarding loki is uh i i will say this because uh, th this is why i brought it up uh if they are really gonna go with the uh, um not uh the universe can live without the stones and that means that loki is the time stone mm. uh wanda is the reality stone and if they if they're gonna stick with that that's a fucking great storyline uh i'm i'm like i'm, I'm, I'm not I'm like seeing, that. that's kind of fun <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm seeing more and more uh things regarding this and i'm like you know 
that does sound very interesting. Like mm. uh, it can have huge, huge things uh, for the future. Um, mm. So I'm, I'm still like, to be fair, these two, these last two projects that they did, they, they definitely brought back my, my spirit. Uh, oh, Secret Invasion came out this year, but it was so bad <laughs> that I forgot. So yeah, that's that, oh, that yeah. where I oh, that, that... Oh, get into the Marvels in the second. But I literally was watching that movie today, and I was like, what the fuck happened in Secret Invasion again? I don't remember. <laughs> it doesn't even matter for the Marvels. So I'm like, it's it's. Uh... I'm so disappointed with that. That was my favorite comic run. Like, why? What did you do? That's why I I felt like it's it's uh, mm. uh but uh, not anymore. I'm back um, on the train. I'm happy. Yeah, I just I it, it, it for the for me Loki feels like an earned ending, which is kind of felt has felt kind of um um rare for a while now. Mm. Um. Uh, so I, I was just pleased that when I looked at it and I was like, because I like taking stories um, and kind of turning them over in my brain and seeing if you can kind of put them together in different ways and seeing if they still fit together. One of my favorite things about Black Sails is you can do that so much. I'm watching it, so <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> um, it's just, it's it's so densely layered. No, 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 no. Interesting and nah, consuming it. Um, <laughs> But like it, this to me got to that sort of space. I thought Tom Hiddleston was so bloody good in that last episode. The whole beginning part of him constantly going back and trying to make the whole thing just go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster. I love that he spent centuries learning quantum physics. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's uh, also a, a little Easter egg back to Tony saying that he learned. Uh, uh, I don't know what it was exactly, but it, he learned it during the night. So in Avengers, I was like nice um yeah it's just it's just it was just nice to be able to see him kind of take sort of the full sort of I don't know, ownership over the story that is his it's it's the title of the show is loki um yeah. and um and it was finally about him yeah and it it it, it sat yeah it satisfied me um uh i also kind of love the like i mean I don't want to bring this up. There's a big shipping uh, uh, fan base on Tumblr.com for yes. Loki and Morbius. Uh, in a way that it's is everywhere. slightly delusional. Um, it is very delusional. Yes, but <laughs> I, I wouldn't be. Uh, I'd be lying if I didn't said I didn't read it. Like I can see where they're coming from. The delusion comes from thinking they're actually going to do anything with. <laughs> Uh, oh, here's, here's what I was waiting for uh, to be honest with you because uh, as soon as they said uh, Owen Wilson's name mm. in episode 4 mm. as being Don mm. I was like Donald because you know what that means that would mean that he's a Thor variant uh, because uh, Odin actually uh, had Thor uh, live in a human body and his name was Donald uh, no, to basically enjoying the, the 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 greek gay tragedy of the whole thing. no because here's the thing because that was one of my pet, uh, pet peeves with the whole thing uh th there were interviews and everything coming out that the big goal is is to reunite uh tor with loki that never happened so i was very hopeful when that dawn line came in that oh maybe maybe that's how they gotta do it even if chris hemsworth will come back then because we didn't see any other variants basically other than uh, timely and he remains and lucky and that's it that's that's all we saw and i was like i feel like that was a huge missed opportunity with this because let's be fair uh that i i hate how they abandoned these specific uh uh storylines where you know they had steve spend entire fucking movies trying to redeem Bucky and reunite yeah, with left. him and then <laughs> he just fucking left uh, and uh, you know uh, we know that uh, Loki had a, a lot of things to say and do with Thor and he never got to do that and uh, because this version of Loki is is the one that you know almost destroyed New York yeah um, yeah I don't know it's, it's one of those things where it's like narratively speaking i think it's just because that's been done you know uh where it, it's like it, on the other you know up to infinity war kind of timeline uh, mm -hmm. of things it's like he had that that arc over there this one's about him being his own person so i didn't really expect that's, any kind of like 
that's fair as well but like you know I, I can see what you mean um but there there is something like deeply like european like <laughs> like um lgbt like tragedy about the idea of, of mobius not really knowing what to do with himself because like his best friend his gone. friend is gone yeah. um uh and meanwhile he his best friend is sitting in the middle of a tree of life and just like watching over him as like a beloved like that that's gay <laughs> like sorry that's very homosexual <laughs> i'm like obviously they're not gonna do anything with it but that's fun for me <laughs> fair fair all i know is that if i would have been lucky i would have killed sylvie and done that's it yeah i was there was a moment in it just like apropos of nothing <laughs> where they you know they do that whole sequence where he's like trying to stop her and yeah. i think that's also an important part of his like it's like he doesn't want to be that guy who just kills the problem anymore um and i love him for that but there's a moment where he like stops her with her, ha- her his hand and his hand is the entire size of her chest as far as i can yeah, tell yeah, yeah. it's like jesus christ she's tiny she is <laughs> she's a tiny woman so big yes <laughs> Yes, like yes, that yes. has nothing to do with anything. I was just like, "Fucking hell!" Yeah. <laughs> also, the whole talk again uh, between Loki and he who remains one of the highlights of the entire thing for me. I'm I was like, "Oh my oh. god, that's so good!" I was um, so hooked on it. Yeah. Yes, that was very good. I wanted to go back to. It. I actually, it's one of those things where it's like I don't necessarily like Sylvia as a person. I do think she's incredibly selfish, but I also like she is. flawed characters. Um, from like a just like a writing perspective you know what I mean mm. um and I like the fact that they really leaned into that where she's like I want what I want I'm not going to change myself for you even if you want me to be this other version that you you think I should be I want my own life etc cetera, etc cetera. even if it's like it, it really did take a far too long to realize that there was like that it does not it's not going to be as simple as it's just sort of like I've done it now goodbye <laughs> it's like had the, the the spaghettification had to go on around her for her to realize that shit was fucked um, and still she was uh, selfish at the very end as well yeah but that's you know no interesting no it's not no. it doesn't need to be good but it's like it is and it, it makes for like an interesting character not everybody's going to be like a good person you know i really um, hope she's not coming back in anything to be honest i was like nope <laughs> fuck you <laughs> I, yeah i just i because like i to there's like a difference i and i i work very hard at making sure that this is a like a different thing in my brain there is a difference between like i don't like this person as a person and i don't like this character because they're badly put together right mm. i think sylvie's very well put together especially in this season because i think that they they found like a center for her and they stuck to it um that she's but selfish also, yes yeah, exactly. Well, I think that that's that that is a, a a central trait to a character to make sure that they like they ha- in order to like build somebody to be able to have something that they like if it's even if it's negative to be able to be like this is the thing that drives them. Sylvie wants what Sylvie wants, and that's it. She doesn't care about Loki, which is why the people who ship them still are like you guys are fucking delusional. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad that they took that out from there it's completely. Like, I was like, like delusional. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you get? They're different people. She's made it very clear that she doesn't care. She doesn't um, care. And I'm like, no. she wants what she wants, and she got it in the end. And he did that for you know partly for her. It's part of why you know he's so bloody tragic in his own way because it's like she's never going to appreciate it on the way that I think he would initially want. Sort of as a feeling, but like it's also not the whole reason why he did it. Um, yeah, it's just part of you know it's part of the burden. I, I would also I like to point it out that <laughs> it doesn't mean that I I don't have any problems with Sophia. She's great. Yeah, she's like, fantastic. I, I thought she was great. <laughs> she's great. I like before anyone like says mm. I you hate the actress. No, I don't. She's fucking great. I just don't like Sylvie at all whatsoever. That's it. That's mm. that's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Uh, let's jump ships and let's go to the movies. The movie which uh, I saw today, six hours ago. <laughs> Six hours ago. There you go. Easy. Came easy. out of it about four hours ago. <laughs> nice. Uh, again, tell me the non spoilery thoughts first. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was a lot of fun. I, the, the thought I had about it was because uh, this is a, clearly a movie that is a very much about women. And yeah. I liked this movie a lot more than Barbie, which was also supposedly all about women. 
And I, I think agree. it was because it didn't do the thing that Barbie did that annoyed me, where it painted womanhood as a very specific type of thing. It yes. allowed it to be like a lot of things. And it's just, yeah. it was, it just, but it was like, it was about womanhood without being like, this is about womanhood sort yeah. of a thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is just way more easy to like enjoy and like exist as like people as opposed to being like, I'm like, fuck, shut up. <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, sort of a thing. I do feel like it th- fell down a little bit for me in the third act. I actually feel like, honestly, it could have been a little bit longer in places because uh, I felt like it. it there were a I... couple of things that like got truncated yeah. and like yes. just sort of abandoned very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I do appreciate a short runtime, but there were a couple. Yeah, there was a, f- a few things where I was like, it's, it's kind of, it, mm, yeah, it's mm. just a lot of things just sort of fell to the wayside a bit. Uh, for the sake of of I think the expediated runtime, um, which is you know, out of all the criticisms to have about a movie, that's not the worst thing in the world. I thought it was spectacularly well directed. I really liked the fight scenes. Um, uh, they were uh, gorgeous. Uh, I love the three hander between the three of them. Is fun. It's just it's very it's really enjoyable. It's I had a so good, good time watching it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought it was fun. I thought it was a, a, a damn sight better than the, a, a fair amount of the other stuff. That like specifically from Secret Invasion and 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 Ant Man. To be honest, <laughs> um, on top I of still that. like Ant Man. Ant Man, I just found to be aggressively average. This was good. <laughs> yeah, you know, Fair. it's like I liked it. I had a good time. Yeah, exactly. And you know, I, did I have I... to leave. And pee in the middle of one of the fight scenes because I oh, know <laughs> it's just no. like oh no I can't <laughs> oh no, oh, no. This is why you don't have Dream. drinks in the cinema yes yeah exactly <laughs> exactly um same I I think this movie <laughs> did exactly what it promised in the trailers and everything that it's gonna be fun and it was fucking fun I had such a good time with it and I, we will get into my favorite fucking scene. <laughs> ever to exist in the Marvel Universe because I, I literally I laughed so hard that I, I was afraid that I would be myself I was like what the fuck so well done uh, I will say this in advance before we go into the spoilers that Iman Balami is a national treasure and, a delight. <laughs> and we must protect her at all costs because she's fucking great and she's every Marvel fan ever basically uh I, I fucking love her. I love everyone in there. I love that Nick Fury could have fun and mm-hmm. didn't have to be this very serious guy. Uh, he was just, you know, he was having fun mm. in the best way possible. I do agree with some of the scenes that needed to be longer thing. Mm. And I have specifics. I uh, have specifics too. <laughs> good, good. Uh, so let's get into the... This was just non-spoiler, so, you know. Yeah, if you are if you are looking for a fun... It's 90 minutes. That's another thing that's very it is very yeah. much in his favor. It is it is a you know fun little thing. I personally haven't seen the Marvels, um, I, which now I do. I have more of a, an inclination to go back to to watch because I, I enjoyed this. Um, you haven't seen the Marvels, Miss Marvel. Okay, too many things with Marvel in the title, <laughs> and my brain doesn't work. We know this. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> It's like, but you just watched it. Miss Marvel, the series. <laughs> I knew what yes. I meant. Just translate yes. the things that I say into the things okay. that I clearly intend to suppose. Yeah, it's just, um, but it, it, it felt accessible, even though I hadn't seen like oh, 100%, literally yeah. everything. Which was Everyone nice. says that, yeah. I've seen um, everything, so I was like, I was fine, but I, I know people who haven't seen anything and they were like, yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I understood it, so I was like, "Oh, okay, that's." Um, I think he's getting unfairly bashed, by, by the critic reviews. Um, uh, considering that th- there's definitely been worse. <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah, but it's going up now, so it's like, mm-hmm. okay, finally they they make sense. And I love, I I will say this, I don't usually agree with Twitter stuff a mm-hmm. lot of times because people can be very aggressive, mm-hmm. but I love that there is aggressive love for this movie over yeah, on Twitter. That's nice. I I just every time I I go on there I just see people being like okay first of all shut up because I hate that they are now uh, having headlines of this is Marvel's worst opening ever and blah 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 and I'm like 
they were on strike, first of all. Mm. You didn't make a fuss about verse openings uh, for other movies, but yeah, sure, let's, let's cash in on that trend that Marvel's in shambles again. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just really hoping that it's the same thing that happened with Elemental, which is fucking great, by the way. I love that uh, movie so much. Uh, it's it's going to happen with the Marvels where people are just going to be like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to go and see it to have fun. I feel like if this movie had come out after there'd been a bit more time between like the that feeling of fatigue that people are having, like, um, I, and it's not like they could do anything about it. I'm not saying yeah. that. They, I'm just saying like in, in a world, in a world where, yeah. um, uh, um, this was like had the ability like yeah i think i think the the inability for them to actually promote this movie properly um definitely hampered it because like oh yeah yeah, yeah. um i didn't watch a lot of the the trailers for it but i also kept forgetting it was coming out <laughs> which is like that's the thing with a lot of people um, like you know when you have like proper promotions where the actors can go out, do the fun interviews, whatever, mm. people one way or another will find it and it's much easier for a movie to be like, hey, I'm but here. Even like on just like passive advertising, like I don't, I don't think I saw any billboards. I don't think I ever got any like trailers for it before, like, you know, in a YouTube, as a YouTube mm. app or anything like that, which is like promoted tweets or anything like that. The stuff that they could have been doing when they didn't have access to be promoted, it feels like they didn't do any of that either i'm you know? not sure if i agree because i saw a ton of stuff about it but like i just gone it wasn't it's, all, it's, it's all the, <laughs> also uh the algorithm thing i think exactly yeah but that's the other thing it, i feel like i don't know just it, like clearly you're already in a space where you're going to be given that sort of stuff naturally um i try to keep up to date with like i i follow a lot of news sort of spaces mm-hmm. um and all that sort of stuff um so obviously i knew it was coming out but like yeah yeah, yeah usually i'm bombarded with more stuff yeah. right um yeah. and it felt like there was far less stuff in the, the passive i'm gonna calling it passive advertising thing because there's like not people actively being the face of the um of yeah. the advertisement and um, etc cetera, etc cetera. or promotion i guess is probably a better word and that's um, a huge part of it i mean yeah. they can do it you know it's mm. it's it's gonna be harder for a movie to be like very successful mm. Yeah, I just, I also feel like, I, I guess, I don't know, felt like they, I don't know, it, feel, it feels like they don't have like a middle ground, like these these big studios. It's either they put literally everything that they can throw at something into promotion to the point where you're like, could you stop throwing this thing in my face? I'm really bored of seeing it. Mm. Or they do it so little that you're just sort of like, wait, that movie's coming out? I remember when um, Justice League came out, everybody was like, What? <laughs> I thought I wasn't out until next year. Yeah, I know. I saw things where it was like it's coming out in March. I was like, all right, I don't remember <laughs> that happening. <laughs> like yeah. it's just like it's, I don't know. It, it there's a middle ground there. It feels like these, yeah. these huge companies have just like not found, and it's like there is there is a middle ground here somewhere, guys. <laughs> somewhere it's there somewhere. Well, uh, I just hope on, on uh, the last note on this part uh, is that it's going to pick up. In the coming weeks, because it deserves it. It's a ton of fun, and it's really what it should be about to mm. to have fun with it, uh, while still being a you know a very enjoyable Marvel movie as well. Film. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, the spoilery stuff. Spoilery uh. Stuff. So let's talk about the the scenes that needed to be longer. Uh. First. Yeah. So the, like by the end of the movie, I was like, there were several questions that I had about like things specific the first one that comes to mind was the the poor planet that had all the water on it yeah yeah what same to them yeah yeah exactly exactly <laughs> exactly yeah yeah i agree what happened you just sort of left and then we're like well they're fucked forever and it's like i mean you can do something i think there's probably something you could do you could yeah. at least i don't know attempt some human humanitarian aid of some kind or another um it felt uh, weird it was odd just- <laughs> yeah yeah fair. I agree. especially I agree. after they had so much set up for it yeah um little thing where did the second arm bang go by the end of the movie that i think it's with carol to be honest why didn't they say anything about it then i yeah yeah like, that's fair that as well was another one because it was like she got both of them she was like they traveled the universe to get to me and now i have both of them to be able to do this and then suddenly it's like i've only got one uh we're not going to pull attention to it 
Uh, and also, we're not going to say anything about why she doesn't have the other one. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, these are the things that, like, that's that's inconsistent. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. That's right. I also felt that the final boss fight with um, Zoe Ashton's character, whose name I can't remember, Da something. Yeah, I always mix it up, so I'm not even. I don't remember any of the planet names in this movie. They're, they're all Hala. They, they, that's that's. I, the Hala planet. was the only one because it's just easiest. <laughs> Um, but um, I just felt like her bus fight was a bit underwhelming. I don't know. Well, I really it liked like the, it. I like I it, but like yeah, I guess like I like the actual fight itself. But then I don't know. I guess it was just over too soon. Um, and then she died. <laughs> like, yeah, but, 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, he was a she... part of that. I guess might have come from the fact that the, when I that needed to go pee was in the sort of like ransacking of the the water planet oh, okay. whose name i can't remember because i was like this is a fight i'm probably not going to miss too much and also i may die if i don't go right now <laughs> fair, 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 fair. um but i was like okay i got back they uh, failed cool good to know now i'm up to date i guess um yeah I know, it's hard to tell um when you miss a small part of a movie but um i don't know just it it felt quick to me, especially when, when these sort of boss fights tend to have like three mm. phases, I guess if you could say it was like they they I don't know, went beat her up once uh, at the end of it, and then she got stabbed, and then um, and then she blew up. <laughs> it was yeah, like, I don't know. Um, it felt a little bit short to me. I don't think I agree with that fully, but like mm. I can see why you say that. But uh, yeah, for me it was like. It's like they they struggled to to get her down. And if it if it wasn't for that step thing, then I think it it, it wouldn't have happened. Mm. So I was like, uh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, once again, I think one of it's the Marvel sickness. Poor Zalve's character wasn't really interesting. No, to be fair. and and that that were interesting parts to her. Yes, uh, I and... feel like they almost made her too sympathetic at one point. To yes. the point where they had to go, and now we have to make her a war criminal. <laughs> yes. Like, oh. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, I I don't even know. I think it was, yeah, it was Tom who said that uh, he felt like that we were missing a movie in mm. between Captain Marvel and the Marvels, where it would have been nice to see, like, you know, how Carol's actions of uh, taking out uh, uh, the Supreme yeah. uh, In- Intelligence. Yes, thank you. Supreme cool. intelligence uh, uh, affected uh, and what kind of conflict she had with the, with the Kree, mm. which I I kind of agree with. Mm. But since they do mention in the movie that you know she had nothing to do with the war itself, that mm. ended up destroying the planet, I was like, I don't know if we would have needed a movie for mm. that. But like, I can kind of see the point. Uh, where I had problems with scenes needing to be longer mm. is once again and uh most famously uh Thor the Dark World did this and mm. they did this now here as well and I, I don't I don't like it is that we, we didn't leave time for the more deeply emotional scenes which were the talk between Monica and Carol. Mm. I, I think it it would have needed a lot more time. And instead we had like a quick chat uh, and then Monica left, and then we got into the fun stuff. I yeah, I think I actually quite. I didn't think that the the chat was actually like. I felt like that was okay because they had the whole section where they, if they didn't have that whole like extended bit where they were learning how to like swap properly, I think everybody would have agreed with you. But, but that think, was after. Eh. That that's my problem. Oh, you because okay. Because I, 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 I mean, because in my yeah no, but like after after the the you know um death of the water planet i guess <laughs> who knows um um they did also have that sort of i don't know i think there were bits in there i think that the thing that makes it feel a bit shit is the f- I, I i did the the quickness with which monica was suddenly thrust into an entirely different reality um <laughs> That happened quite um, fast for me, where it was suddenly it, like I I didn't feel that there was a much, a much like like a narrative build up to the idea that you know it was just suddenly like like I could see where it was going immediately, mm. but like there was no dramatic irony put into it in order to make it like hit as much. Um, 
so it just sort of happened very quickly and I was like oh okay and she's gone um uh I don't know. I'm not saying that there needs to be like super dramatic long pauses on her, like as she sits there clearly, like, but like maybe a little bit more. It's like he kind of didn't telegraph it much. <laughs> said the, yeah. the, the feeling I got. So it kind of, I don't know, I think I feel like maybe it made everything else feel a bit cheaper. Um, I'm not yeah. sure if that's the best word, but like it, it didn't it, it didn't allow everything else to come together as like yeah. satisfying buying the um, i i could agree with that to, to some level yeah mm-hmm. yeah uh so let's talk about the best thing in the entire movie because i died okay <laughs> i don't know if that sure okay i'm just gonna get into it goose G- yeah goose, goose and the little little flurkins uh the the second i realized what was the plan uh and then fucking midnight from cats uh sang by barbara streis and started to play as the flurkins were eating the crew <laughs> I like, oh i did not put this together but that's quite funny <laughs> i was like what the fuck and i i i just I literally in that scene, I love every moment that that they put in there, like how the woman is running away and then she's very scared and then and then hides and it's it's a tiny kitten, it's a tiny kitten that follows her, <laughs> and and midnight just gets to the point where it's the it's the big belting, uh, huge part of the song and, and they are in a spaceship and the the kittens fly up in the air. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck. <laughs> I had such a good time with it. It's like, yeah, yeah, this is now my favorite thing ever. <laughs> a weird turn <laughs> to take. It was kind of like, okay, sure. I, I guess we're it. doing this now. I, I mean, it. but the, to be fair, the movie does have a fair few weird turns. I re- I actually really enjoyed the concept of, of a society where everybody sings to each other. Um, but that's just the musical theater enjoyer in me, I think, more than yeah. anything else. Um it also makes the them just sort of leaving and then kind of going there <laughs> about the whole thing a bit more annoying because it's like that's a fun society. Go help them. Yeah. Also, I, apparently you're married to that man. Go help him. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm I'm paying attention, but now that we talked about cats, I noticed that my cat disappeared from her place. <laughs> and that's always very scary because she's she tends to go into my bed. She's not there, but I don't see where she is. I, it's a black cat, so she can disappear <laughs> in the dark. Hold on. Where is my cat? Where, where, that's the like technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, now we take is. a small break. I, I found her. <laughs> She's found her. Everything's good, everybody. <laughs> she she wanted to go out. That's why I couldn't find her. But I got her now. It's okay. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> We're back from the technical difficulties. Um yeah uh it was fun it was a fun movie um i did feel like it started to the pretty much from that battle i was when i was like eh, things are starting to feel a bit weird pacing wise now Wait, 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 which battle the... the the big the one on the water, on the planet, water planet i will yep. never I'm just, it's, it's fine i remember the name i can't remember no, what no, it's called it's fine. um but um yeah that was when i started noticing sort of issues um with the pacing at least that's why I felt like there were started being issues with the pacing. Um, I felt like because I like, I forgot what it was like to have like a, a unique the um like a, a character with a very specific personality. Um, in, in some Marvel properties, I feel like there's been a lot of like very samey people that have been popping up. Um, uh, Carol's got a very specific personality, which is very fun to watch because she's quite funny. Uh, yes, and and kind of irreverent in places and, and all sort of stuff. And I almost feel like, as a person, she's almost a I don't know. In some places where it's like, what am I trying to say? Um, I think the the, the... it's like she kind of goes, um, oh, I fucked this, so I'm just not going to look at it anymore. But there's no attempts to have her turn around and actually look at the things that she's done, which is like it's a good flaw to give a character but also you do need to challenge it and it feels like that hasn't been I, I would have liked more of like a like she went and reignited the sun and that was like oh, I've redeemed myself now that was kind of the feeling I got from the way that they put the narrative together and it's like you have you you do need to do more like there was more that you yeah. should be doing yeah I don't think that was necessary redemption 
to be fair like uh, but but i uh, on that note i am just happy that they let brie larson do Mm. what she does best and and that's what should have happened in the very first movie with captain marvel because uh here she's she's just embodying carol so well i i i love that they let her have fun Mm. uh with the whole thing and it it shows it shows it's just Mm. There's definitely a different feeling that comes off of it. Oh, um, 100%. 100%. When you when you, when you let like certain because like I mean she you can feel like so much personality of it from her and it, and then I think there's a couple of moments where I feel like I can feel like the Marvel net being like put around where she has to be like diverted in a very specific way um, mm, in order to like yeah. serve the the larger plot and it's like no but just like keep letting it be fun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, let, let it go. Yeah. That's Pace the best thing. Across the. <laughs> the way she wears it, I fucking love that scene so much. <laughs> I wasn't there. Like, that's not a very good way to hurt a cat. <laughs> It kind of, I mean, it kind of works, <laughs> kind of, kind of. Uh, uh, but and and the other ho- highlight, other than we mentioned a few already, mm. uh, obviously the three ladies together fucking loved it very fun. uh but great chemistry between the three of them yeah but the 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 calm family yeah i, I was them. like why didn't they go soon <laughs> and i was like oh it's only for plot because she they need to be there when she comes back yeah. but it was a bit like in any other circumstance they would have been the first people to leave it's fine <laughs> one of the first to stay on top of that fine. ship <laughs> It's fine. I love them. I love them in the in in Miss Marvel as well. And mm. they just they they are just so lovable. I hmm. I had so much fun with this movie. That's it. That's the main point. It's and a fun I, movie. I it is a very fun movie. And and I think people kind of forgot that you know it's it's it, it was always Marvel was always the the more lighthearted one. That sure. doesn't mean that they can do serious things, which. Mm. I am really looking forward to Echo. I'm not gonna lie. I'm yeah, like... Echo does. <sighs> I, I was surprised at just how like mm-hmm. visceral it seemed, which is like, yes. oh, okay, okay. And they oh, said okay. that uh, that Echo is going to be a villain. Fun. Yes, she should be. So I'm like, Ha-ha-ha. I'm very interested to see what what uh, they cooked up uh, because it looks promising. Mm. Uh, so so you know it's it's and and I like it when Marvel has fun. Like my favorite uh, people are the Guardians. Mm. I think the Guardians does that thing. I think that the the important part of the Guardians is that, um, and I think part of the criticism that gets leveled at marvel is that sometimes it's almost like it doesn't let um the seriousness of certain situations actually exist properly um because it, 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 where it's like it does that sort of like wry whedon-esque humor thing of being like oh and i'm gonna make a slightly self-referential joke about this in order to like cut the tension and it's like be sincere <laughs> you can be sincere but that's why got and that's why guardians work so well because it does silly but it was also extremely sincere <laughs> yeah exactly um which is all we want it's yeah. like anything in any story you want to be able to actually show the entire depth of emotion um in the thing that you are creating that's yeah. all that anybody really wants out of a story yeah, at least that's exactly. what i want out of a story i don't yeah. maybe i'm maybe i'm generalizing maybe some people just want quips for which is also hours. fine um to, yeah to be fair but like i i think on a bigger <laughs> Yeah, not all the time. Uh, on a bigger level, I I think that's all what we've had. Like you know, uh, I'm just glad that they they're gonna be fine. I feel like I I don't think that's the yeah, again. I think Mar- that... Marvel is in shambles. Uh, bullshit is true at all. Um, yeah, they they made a few bad choices. The studio didn't. Uh, they got a bit like too uh they they the eyes were too big <laughs> yeah it's one of those things of like if you look at it from a business perspective they went so hard into the quantity of equality thing it was like well nobody wanted that from you in the first place yeah um and we all know that you're not going to stop making movies because you make money this way um yeah. all anybody like wants is for the entertainment that you put out is to i don't know just not crowd everything out everything else is yeah, yeah, one yeah. of the big things um Every all anybody ever wants is variety because nobody wants the same thing over and over again. Um, 
And if you do want the same thing over and over again, you want the ability to, to choose that as opposed to it being forced on you. <laughs> I think mm. it's a really important part. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's like, yeah, it's not like they're going to, they're not going to suddenly shutter their doors. It's like, that's, I don't think that's what they mean by shambles. I think it's just sort of like, this isn't the same thing as it was 10 years ago. And, but at the same time, nor should it be. Yeah, exactly. Like it has to, it has to evolve in order to. Yeah continue on as yeah. we all know it's going to yeah and i really hope it will like you know i'm sure there will be a time in my life where i might be tired of it because it can come but, that's uh, when you just stop watching yeah <laughs> it's it, yeah exactly <laughs> no, but like as uh until i'm still entertained by it and and mm. still interested in i'm good mm. oh good mm. um anyway that was our Loki and the Marvels review. Uh, highly recommendable on my end. Definitely. That's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good. Very good. much. It was uh, like, I mean, I, I, was, I went and was blogging gift sets of Loki every week and being like, uh, like I'm aware. <laughs> Just the, the, the small follower count that I have on, on, on mm. Tumblr. Um, or at least the people that actually still pay attention to my blog. I'm like, look, I'm aware I'm posting Loki content 11 years after this was like, heavily relevant but like the 14 year old in me needs this so i'm exactly. going to continue it exactly um next week we're going to be back with another review and then we're going to bring another very very exciting guest mm. i'm so excited i'm like <laughs> um so yeah there's a lot to look forward to uh forward to. so we're going to be back we are going to be back. We're going to be. I'm very excited. We're going to be getting into something that's very, very important to me in a few, you know, yes. about a month's time. But but it's just it's 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 for me. It's for me. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we're going to have something that's for me, and I'm so excited about it. I'm like, ah! we've done Giggles. a lot of very great, um, very great. Jesus Christ, what is English? <laughs> um, we've had a lot of very, um. Uh, specific, a very specific type of content here. Yes, which has done very well for us. And if you're yes. new and have come to us from some of that content, welcome. We're very welcome. happy to have you. Um, yes. uh, but I, we're gonna we're making a little bit more space for some of the content that makes me very excited and uh, happy, which uh, makes me happy. <laughs> there you uh, go. Yeah, I don't know. There's, there's some stuff I'm gonna and <laughs> <Happy laughs> all that jazz um, yay happy days happy days people um all right then uh don't forget to subscribe and mm. uh rate us on spotify it helps mm. so please do that if you haven't um, done that already and you only need exactly. to do it once it just stays there yeah. but like yeah. if you haven't done it it's, it's helpful uh, please we're also on apple podcasts and other such platforms it's just that it's easy for us to link to spotify <laughs> exactly um, um yeah, yeah. Leave comments. We Leave read comments. them. Tell your friends. Yeah. And we love all you all. Jazz. And watch movies. Yeah, do that. Watch movies. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.